Hi, Vince Math. It must be Math by Yummy. Welcome again to the world of Math by Yummy. So solve the best question before examination and the most tentative portion. This one is just question number four of this series. I would say please pause the video and try to solve this question. I hope you have paused the video and tried to solve this question. This is quite an easy question, but I'll give you the complete concept of this. Then we'll discuss how we are going to proceed this question. Look, the number is 77 raised to power 77. In the worst situation, we know this one is less than 80 raised to power 80. 8 raised to power 8 is a 8 digit number that I know. And if we have a 1 zeros raised to power 80, we have 80 more digits. So in the worst situation, we have either 88 digit or less than 88 digit. Obviously, this would be less than 88 because 80 raised to power 80 is much, much, much bigger than this value. What I did? I calculated 8 raised to power 8, then number of zeros and we got the approx number of digit which one is 88. So 77 raised to power 77 must be less than 88 digit twice so because 80 raised to power 80 has 88 digits. So if we have assume 88 digit numbers and all other we are going to find the maximum summation. If we go for the maximum summation this would be 9 8 just 72 then the 7 7 92. So if this number is in the worst situation 88 digit numbers, then we go for the summation of this digit that would be 792 lump sum. Then we again go for the summation of digits that would be 1118. It would be a double digit number in the worst situation. Then we again go the summation of digit. It should be a single digit summation. Why I did so many steps in this question? Because we have to damn sure this question would have a single digit number. If you are not sure, we are not able to solve this question in the perfect way possible. If you have any doubt, must solve question number 5 of this series, which is in the Facebook event. The link of the Facebook event is given in the description. Go, check the question number 5, then you will get to know why I am doing so many steps in this question. First, I randomly calculate or the approximately calculate the number of digits in 77 raised to power 77 should be less than less than equal to 80 raised to power 80. It has 88 digit. In worst situation, if all digits are 9, so the maximum summation is 792. This would have 88 digit in the worst situation. Then we go for the summation, would have the 792 is the worst summation. We add, we'll get a double digit number. We add, we'll get a single digit number. The sum of digit for the single digit number is actually remainder by 9. Are you sure? The sum of digit for the single digit number is remainder by 9. Then I am deadly sure, I am dead sure that 77 ratio 77, if we need to sit this, solve this question, we have to find the remainder. Let's solve. So we have to divide by 9 and we have to divide by 6 because the cyclicity of 9 is 6. 77 is 14, 5. This would be 5. When the 77 divided by 6, remainder should be 5. So either we can go for the 25 into 25 into 5, then again divide. This one is a 7. This one is a 7. 49 is the 4, then the 20. The final digit should be 2. So what I did, first I checked it has a double digit numbers or the single digit number. I found it's a single digit number. Sum of digits, if single digit number, it's a remainder by 9. Then I calculated a remainder by 9, which one is 2. So the answer of this question is 2. So this is the best approach of solving this question. Many of you directly solve this divided by 9, 77 raised to power 77 divided by 9, and you get the answer to which could be a right answer, could be a wrong answer, depend upon the situation. You say this is going to be the right answer always, or this approach is going to be the right approach always. I say must solve question number five, which is in the FB event right now. Go there, link of the event is given in the description. Give your best because I am trying to give my best. You have to give your best to crack your examination. Myself, Amiye, God bless you. Happy learning and bye bye.